All right, hello everyone. We are back. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, I am recording this uh, back to back with uh, my episode two. So we are picking up right where we left off. We uh, um, we got our steam dynamo going here. We got our uh, aqueous accumulator picking up our water and putting it in there. We got our flux ducts going on here, and we got our pulverizer, our basic pulverizer going here. Um, I did run through the layout for this, so if you're interested in understanding more about the pulverizer, uh, check my last episode. I'll I kind of go over the configuration for this. So what are we going to do in this episode? So again, as I mentioned last time, I want to get this energy cell going. And it takes a lot of resources. Well, not a lot. It takes a lot of lead for sure. And uh, it takes this electrum as well, which this will be interesting to get. So electrum, it is a combination of gold and silver. And for us, that'll yield two electrum blend, which will give us two um, ingots. And that's the easiest way to get it um, starting right off the bat. So um, using our grindstone that we have established. So where was that? It was this. So we only need one piece, but we're going to make two, obviously, because of how it yields from the combination of dusts. So I'm just going to take this gold ingot. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to take a gold ore, and then I think, if I'm not mistaken, we already melt, smelted all of our silver, so I'm just going to take a silver ingot. Am I right? Am I missing it? Yeah, I think we smelted all that. Um, so in the last episode, I had mentioned that between episodes, I was going to grind up all of our resources and have them prepared. Um, but again, like I said, uh, I'm filming these back to back, so I did not have a chance to do that. Oh bummer! We only got we only got one pulverized. So oh well, we only got one pulverized gold. Oh well. Um, since I'm filming back to back, I didn't have a chance to do that. So I'm gonna have to bring all of you along with me today as we go through and crush up some ores. So it'll be a fun time, right? Once we get this going though, and we have our pulverizer going, we don't really need to use this grindstone anymore because the pulverizer will pretty much automatically do all of this for us anyway. So I just wanna grind up this lead. We're almost there. Because uh, lead will be a big component in creating this. Well, I hope everyone's enjoying their day. Um, I, I don't know what day this is going up yet because it's kind of a, a backlog. Um, but I hope everyone is having a decent time. And I hope you, uh, I hope you in, are enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. So there we go. We got our Electrum ingot and we were able to get this redstone conductance coil perfect now we will need a block of redstone easy enough because we got a gazillion redstone and then we need to make this what are we missing oh, we need more glass i believe so unfortunately we're gonna have to go outside and get some glass is there a spider i hear a spider Better not be sneaking up on me. Uh, I'm just going to use this to get it. Get some sand here. Actually, realistically, I could use an old trick. Oh, I have, I have sticks. I have coal. Make some torches. All right. I know this is a super old, old trick to do. But if you... We're gonna get three out of that. Uh, 
Where, where's an easy way to do this? We'll just do it over here. If you uh, break, oh, this will be perfect. I'll just put that there. If you um, put a torch underneath uh, sand or gravel, since gravity will take it down as it goes, it will actually break the block as it hits the torch. So if I get rid of these, it'll break all of those. Didn't break that bottom one for some reason, but it, breaked, uh, it broke all of the ones above it. Which is perfect, exactly what we needed. How many do we have? 14, eh, not quite enough. But I don't wanna spend all day out here grabbing this. So yeah, um, that trick comes in super handy when you're down in caves, especially if you hit uh, freaking gravel, all this junk here. You can also do it kind of fast. So if you go break the block and you right click, put the torch down, it breaks all of them. So let's get that torch back up there. Um, perfect, got our lead. Let's get that sand going. Put in some more tiny coal. Did I leave anything in there? No, I did not. Right, we're gonna dump off. Oof, we ran out of room. All right, let's make, let's make some more chests really quick. Cause we are going to extend both of these chests. Bada bing, and then bada bing. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize if you if you shift on a chest, it shows you all of its contents. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get that put in there because we don't need it. Oh, well, we got a lot of stuff too. And you know what? If my memory uh, recalls correctly, our miscellaneous blocks drawer over here was getting pretty full too. Yeah, it was. Let's dump off some of these because we do not need that much. Um, let me actually grab some of this because we might need it. Cool. Uh, and then that glass. Cool. Then we're going to go back to this. We're making this energy cell frame. We have all of our components. I keep, I keep hearing stuff. Something's going to creep up on me. And bada bing, bada boom, we got it. Perfect. Let's dump off this and this and that. Wow, we do not have much coal. We, we got some in here, I guess, but we don't have a ton of coal, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, we are going to take this and place it right there. And now this will start accumulating. And this will backfill fill 2 million RF, which is perfect. Because as we start using these machines, it'll use a lot more than what its internal storage is. And this will just keep burning. And so this will, um, basically the order of backfill goes, the furthest down the line will back, will pull from the closest on the line um, and pull that all the way down to backfill that component. Not the best explanation, so let me let me say it a little bit better. So this had full backfill of RF, but since we put on this energy cell, all of that backfill came over into this energy cell. But since down the line we have this pulverizer here, which has a backfill as well, all of that backfill went from the energy cell and went to the pulverizer. Once this was full, then this starts backfilling. And once this is completely full, then this will backfill. So more than likely we won't see this for a long time. And I'm just gonna throw the rest of the coal in there because this is gonna take a while to actually build up. See, we're only at like 80,000 and we got out of 2 million. So it's gonna take some time. So now that we got that going, I'm going to I'm gonna put a chest actually on top of there. Another chest. Today is just the day for making chests. So this chest is gonna be for all of our raw materials. When we get them, excuse me, burping a little bit. Uh, super professional for my video, right? Let me take a sip here. I am, uh, I'm still drinking, drinking my uh, bubbly drink. Um, 
since I am recording back to back. Uh, and I'm enjoying it. So what was I saying? Oh yes, this is gonna be for our raw materials because the pulverizer, as I had set up before, will pull through this blue one here from this chest and pulverize. So what is the most important thing that we need right now? Um, we already did all of that. We don't really need that. I wanna say, let's get some of this going. Why is it? Oh, two different things. I thought for a second these were both gold ingots and I was like, why isn't it sorting together? So watch, I will put all of this iron in here and it should pull in. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why that's not working. Typically it, it would pull in. This gets ignored. Hmm. I don't know why that's not working. Well, we can just put it directly in there. And we might just have to pipe it into here, unfortunately. That's a bummer. I've had it work on, um, on different uh, instances before. I wonder if it's because it's next to this energy cell. Hmm. I wonder if I were to plop it down farther. It would work. Hmm. Or if I were to put the energy cell here. Let's try that. Let's try putting that there. Because I want this to. It's worked before. Let's just, we're just testing here. Okay, so let's grab all these. Put them in there. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why. I've had it work before, but for some reason it's just not working now. So we'll just leave that there and we'll take this off. Eventually we'll get some item ducks and we'll get that going in there. But uh, as you can see, way quicker at getting stuff done. And we don't have to sit there just cranking away at that grindstone. We can just throw them on in here and it'll do, auto do it automatically for us. And uh, as I mentioned in my last video, it'll output two different um, outputs. You have a 100% chance of getting the iron or whatever ore you put in there. And then you'll have a smaller percentage chance, like 10 or 20%, depending on what you get from it, of getting a secondary output. In this case, we are getting nickel, which is actually very good to have. It is kind of hard to find, at least in my experience, it's been hard to find. So I think you can... There's a way to, that's not what we want, the pulverizer. What if I shift click on it? Here we go. Okay, it is a right click. And this will show you everything that you can pulverize in here, which is kind of crazy. So like you can pulverize wool into string and you'll get uh, pigment if it has a pigment in it. Um, you can pulverize different tools if you want to and get stuff out of there. Um, pulverize emerald. You can even pulverize uh, just so much stuff and you can get different outputs. It's kind of crazy. So you can get flour, put some wheat in there, you get flour. Oh, you can use terracotta and get clay. Ooh, that might actually come in handy. Because we might have to, we might be able to go find a biome with a lot of terracotta in it and then uh, be able to get clay because we will need that later. What's this soul? But yeah, as you can see, like there's just so many things that you can uh, pulverize and get a different yield out of. Obviously, you're not going to necessarily get the same exact back. So like for this diamond pickaxe, takes three diamonds to make, you're only gonna get one back. Obviously you're not getting any sticks back. In the case of iron, um, you're obviously gonna get all of your iron back. And then I think it's like 20% chance of nickel, but I could be mistaken on that. 
So the next thing we're gonna make is our redstone furnace. And this one we will actually need clay for because we gotta make some bricks. And it's dark outside. Take a sip of my drink really quick. All right, now let's go out and get some clay. Now again, we're lucky to be close to the water and there's clay right there. Get some of this stuff. So we're gonna need this um, for making these bricks now. We will also need it once we start getting into Tinker's Construct, which will probably be the next thing on the list. Once we get a little more established with uh, thermal, I'll probably start digging into uh, tinkers a little more so we can have some better some better tools. It'll make uh, resource gathering a lot easier. Um, I don't recall if I mentioned it in my very first episode or not, but there is a mod in this mod pack called uh, Mr. Me Creeps. I think I did mention it if I'm recalling correctly. And uh, I've used it before. I think we only need eight of these. So I'll get that and then eight. Don't wanna overuse our clay. I'll plop those in there. Um, anyway, I was saying there's a mod called Mr. Me Creeps in here. And basically you spawn a little helper and he'll help you do different things like build a platform or mine or chop trees down. And it's really nice, it's really nice very early game as well because it helps you collect a lot of resources. However, um, I do feel like it's kind of overpowered. Excuse me. Again, super professional, right? Um, I feel like Mr. Me Creeps is a little bit overpowered uh, just because it's so easy to gather things. Um, so I, I'm a little conflicted because I, I think I could make one right now. Let me see. I don't have my caps lock on. Yeah, that's it. This is it right here. Yeah, I could technically make it right now if I smelted up gold. I might, it's a little overpowered, but I might just do it so y'all can see it and then um, you can just see the capabilities it has, and I probably just won't use it too much. Or I'll use it sparingly. Um, it, it does help with certain things. So, um, what did I get? I got a gold. Let's, uh, let's smelt, let's uh, get this going here. Let's take these boys out, and we'll throw that in there. And for now, Now I'll just put this stuff up here actually. I'll put this smoke this uh, dust up there for now. Okay. Um, I do need gold. What was I gonna do though? One piece of gold, that's not doing that thing. I need a chest, I believe. Which I have. Cool, perfect. Takes two diamonds and then two, four, six gold. So let's Perfect. And uh, so from gold, you can see we get a chance of getting cinnabar. Right? I said that right? Cinnabar. Cool. For whatever reason, in my head, I was thinking cinnabon. And then for a second, I'm like, did I say cinnabon or cinnabar? Let's make these bricks because I know I need them. This is smelting up, so let's go back to... redstone furnace um, I need one of these I'm missing iron and tin and I'm missing tin <sighs> okay where's my tin that's silver there's my tin let's get this going as well Oop. okay uh, I'm just gonna take that out because I need the tin That's going. Let's just throw this in here. We'll throw that back in here. What did I need as well? Iron. So I'm going to take this. Yeah, I'll 
stuff with this. And I'll throw it in there. Let that cook up. Okay. We have everything that we need to make meat freaks. There we go. So this is Mr. Me Creeps. I know it looks kind of weird because it's just a block, but I'll show you how it works here. So, I think this would be a decent area to do it in. Ew, I'm Mr. Me Creeps. Look at me. It's kind of funny. The uh, the audio around it is just funny, but uh, as you can see, it gives you a bunch of different options to do. And um, you know, build a house, which I think you can select different sizes. So like, if I was to do a house, you can do nine by nine, eleven by eleven, and thirteen by thirteen. Uh, you can hit never mind, and he'll disappear. Ew, I'm Mr. Me Creeps. Look at me. <laughs> and then the audio just keeps going every time you put him back down. Uh, you can have him build a platform in the same dimensions as the house, uh, but obviously it's just a flat platform. You can do a flat area, again, again, same dimensions as before, nine by nine, 11 by 11, or uh, a 13 by 13. And I believe with that, he goes up to a height of five. So he'll do that area and then go five up as well. He can do sh dig straight down to bedrock, dig down to bedrock using stairs, follow me and light up the area, follow me and pick up items, and then just idle. I don't know why they would just have idling but, um, you know, it is what it is. But just to show you how it works, I'm gonna back out just because I wanna make sure that I have enough space. So one, two, three, four, five. So that would be five. Hmm. I don't know if I want him to. Um, here, I'll just show an example going this this way so you do need it to be three high for him to work right and look there's some copper right there so we'll do this I'm Mr. Me Creeps. Look and he me. can dig a tunnel as well so let's have him dig a three by three Mr. tunnel 33 32 long and look he'll just go through and mine everything out and also if you throw some torches at him, he'll put torches down as well, I believe. Yep, he picked up the torches and he should put them down as he goes. My computer is not, not liking this. So he's just gonna keep going. See, he put that torch down as well. And if at any point you want him to stop, you can click, right click on him and hit please stop now. And he'll be done. And he'll drop all of his drops there. Um, if he were to go all the way and just keep going, once he was done, he would come back to you and deliver your, your items that you would get. So as you can see, it's kind of overpowered. Like, it's nice to have, you can gather resources really fast or discover them very fast, but it is quite overpowered, in my opinion. I'm sure other people think differently, which is perfectly fine, but I just don't want to rely on that. Um, I don't want to have to rely on that for now. I enjoy, you know, doing some mining. And if it comes to the point where we do need some mass resources, I might consider using him more. But for now, I'm perfectly fine with not using him that often. So what I'll actually do is he's gonna get stored. Um, actually, let me show you one more capability just as a reference for everyone so you can understand what he can do. I also mentioned he can chop down trees. So you could come up here click on the tree Ew, I'm Mr. and you can chop the tree and get the drops yes, sir, me. and you can also spawn more than one of him at a time I'm Mr. Look at me. and have him do the same thing the audio is uh is something to behold right um and there you go he brought over the items and gave them to me
And there we go, got both of them. So now if I look in my inventory, I have a ton of wood. I have some apples and I have some oak saplings. And both of those trees are gone, obviously. So again, in my opinion, it's kind of overpowered. But I mean, if, if obviously that's up to every, everyone on their, on how they want to use it, if they want to use it. Um, I will show again, just as a reference, what he's capable of. So with flattening an area, I'll just do a nice little nine by nine and I'll hop out of here and I'll let him do his thing. Um, as you can see, it's it's lagging a little bit with him doing it. That's not um, because that's how the mod is. That's just how my computer is. It just isn't handling the updates to the blocks that he's making very well. So more than likely, if you have a better system than what I have uh, in your game, uh, it won't show like this. It'll probably show a lot smoother. And there you go, he's done. So he went through and he cleared out a nine by nine area. I'm just going to, for aesthetics, get rid of this. But yeah, I mean, it, it gives you a pretty good idea of what all he can do. Now that I've completely derailed everything that we were doing in this episode, let's try to get back and get some stuff done. We were in the process of making a redstone furnace, and we needed some more resources. I just want to get rid of some of these because I am OCD and I want it to look aesthetically pleasing. So let me just break some of these. Okay. Good enough. Let's put a torch down here as well, actually. So let's get back in here. Let's dump off our 10 tons of sand and our 10 tons of um, of wood. And let's grab those. We need some more tiny coal. Get that going in there. Did I grab that? Yep. Put that over here. And then was I? Yes. Pulverize that. That's Let's get the copper going. So we pulverized, pulverized our tin. I'm actually going to, once this gets done, I'm gonna take these out. Boom. And let's get the tin going, because we need those more than we need the iron. Right now we got plenty of iron to get us going. I got some more right there, actually. Uh, let me just do a quick cleanup, get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory. And yeah, let's get back to thermal expansion and our redstone furnace. So we got our blocks there. We need a machine frame. We have our iron. We need the tin gear, which is what we're working on right now is getting tin. We need copper gears. And so we'll need eight things, eight uh, ingots of copper. And there we go. That's our eight right there. How is this doing? So what, do we only need four? I don't recall. Well, that's not what I needed. Yes, four for that. So I'm actually gonna pop these out once this one gets done. Boom, grab those. Uh, put some more tiny coal in there and then let's smelt that up. I'll put that away. And then let's make our tin gear, that's what we were doing. Tin gear, perfect. Um, and then we should be able to make this, perfect. And then we need this, which we can make easily. And then we just need our two copper gears and then we will have our redstone furnace. Oh, come on, smelt a little faster here. Uh, since it's night, let's just sleep it away so we don't have to deal with it. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. All right, perfect. Now let's check on our, 
copper. We're almost there. I know we can do this faster, but since we're waiting, I'm going to make one. Oh, come on, two more. We're almost there. All right, well, we're in the meantime. Let's double check on our steam dynamo. Good thing we did because we're out of coal. We're only at about a half a million RF only. It goes fast once you start doing stuff, so. And boom. Let us make our last gear. Take that out. And perfect. We have our redstone furnace. We're going to put this next to this. That will get power. We're going to shift left click to get rid of our configuration. Now with this one, again, very similar to all the other machines that we've gone through, you have your redstone control upgrade when we get to it, um, your RF input. This one has a maximum input power of 20 RF. Uh, this has some information around it if you wanna look through it, and then obviously our configuration. So this will be our input, this will be our output. So for our input, we want it from the side. So blue input, and we're just going to have our output be blank for now because we don't have anything going out. Actually, no, I'll have it going up. So it'll be on top. Perfect. So now, let's run back over here. Let's sort through these. Most of that's smelted. What do we really need? Copper. We need a decent amount of copper. Let's be honest. So if we take this copper, and we'll go back here, throw it in the pulverizer, and let's watch this. Let's get this configuration out of our way. So this will pulverize the copper. And as you see, now it's not, it's not accumulating in here. That's because it's outputting from the side into our redstone furnace. And look at that. You can see it come in right here. And then boom, it's making ingots for us, which we'll want to have output. So... And I don't think I don't think I can just output directly to a chest. We could try. But realistically, I'm gonna want to clean all this up. Um, what am I doing? Chest. I don't think it will automatically output. Worth the try. Oh, wait, no, it did. It just took a second. Oh, okay, cool, now it's doing it. I don't know why it won't input from it, but it will output to that up there. Well, that's good to know. And then, cool. So perfect, we have our setup going. That's exactly what we needed. And that will make our, um, our ore refinement a lot quicker. So we have a lot of ores in here that need to be uh, smelted up. And we have a good amount that need to be still refined. Um, so next on our list, we have a good amount of stuff done. I think what I would like to do, let me adjust things here a little bit is hmm, the induction smelter is nice to have but we don't really need it right now i think i would like to work on our power generation because we're using a lot of coal so and i'd rather not be using all that coal just to create power the best the next best step up in dynamos is the mag magmatic dynamo took me a second but I got it so basically it requires hot fluids what it'll do is you'll mix I think you mix you do mix water I believe with it or maybe it is just lava I, I'd have to look at it again regardless you do need lava for it and so um, you use uh, lava into this and it will create an output However, you do need invar. And invar, let's see if we can get it here. 
invar blend or you could use hmm. so you, if you don't have this is another something else that we can make is an induction smelter where you can take two different things and smelt them together to get something else so like how we made that electrum earlier with a blend um, and it was either this episode or the past episode that we made that um, you can take two of those ingots instead of taking the dust and you can combine the two ingots in an induction smelter and get the output if you didn't want to do that if you just wanted to use the blend itself you can do it similar to how we did it with the electrum so you'll take this time pulverized nickel and two pulverized iron and it'll get you the invar but I'm kind of thinking to make things interesting it would be cool to have the induction smelter so maybe that is what we will actually do next now what does that take oh that takes invar as well bummer but it doesn't take a lot so I think realistically we need four. Oh, that's not what I wanted that makes three so we'll need four things of iron and two nickel which we actually might have right two things of nickel and what did I say four things of iron well there we go I'm still gonna go this route I, I forgot that I had the blend um, I had some uh, I had some dust already pre-made that I had backlogged even though I just mentioned how I had that that's cooking up nice um, I'm still gonna go the route of making this induction smelter I think it will just be good to have it so we have our sand we need copper gears we need that okay let's grab our copper I know you're just over here so let's grab this look at all that copper perfect this is gonna be great let's get that in there we're just gonna organize Oop, let me get him put back away because I don't want to be using him right now and four of those we're gonna make induction smelter in our gear perfect boom induction smelter I put all my sand away shift let's get two of those let me get the sand out of here only needed two pieces and eh, whatever induction smelter I need one of these. What am I missing? Gold. I thought I had gold. Ah, uh, haven't smelted it. Or I haven't. Ah, uh, that's what it is. I have not. Um. Oh, look at that. Got some gold. I haven't uh, smelted it into ingots yet. I have the dust, but I haven't smelted it. So let's get that going. I just need one piece of gold, I believe. Some more tiny gold put in there. Boom. Okay. And then induction smelter. We need that. Get that. Get that. Need that. What are we missing? Tin gear. No, we're missing tin. All right. Let's take that out. That. That. Throw that back in there. I really need to get, to get this stuff refined so we can utilize it. Perfect. Tin gear, or tin ingot. Throw that in there. Induction smelter. Induction smelter. Machine frame. And perfect. We are going to throw this over here and remove all configurations because we don't want it pulling anything in and I'm also turning this off um, I'm not too familiar on this um, what it does so I'm just gonna turn off and this way you can put two different uh, ores in there and have them uh, be combined basically so let's get those in here what do I need? I have that sitting there. Let's smelt that up. What else do I have in here? I have the rest of that tin. I have nickel. Let's throw this in here as well. And then where's the rest? 
rest of that. I'll give it a minute. Um, so I need to combine. Oh, I need nickel. That's what I need. To make the invar. So let me take that for bad boy out. And um, put that nickel in there. Put those in there. That is outputting there. Okay, now we have that set up, we are going to make our dynamo. Wow, we're already sitting at almost 41 minutes. Jeez, goes fast. So we need, um, what, six pieces of invar? Oh, actually, I'm sorry, I did not check what this needs. And then silver, one piece of silver, which we actually might already have, if I'm not mistaken. Let me throw this nickel in here. And then is that all done? Let me throw that iron in there. Do we have that much? No, we only have two that, and we have one of that. Okay, unfortunately we don't have enough yet. So, we need to craft up some invar ingots. So, I put in my nickel and my iron, it should take one nickel and two iron, and then you get three um, invar ingots output from it. And I'm just gonna cook most of these up because we'll, they'll come in handy. So that's all we need for now, so I'm gonna grab that and throw it in there. And come over here. Actually, I'm gonna throw this in here, get that out of my inventory. Cool. So, we can make this, we can make that, and that's all we need to do. And perfect. Got our, um, what's it called? Magmatic Dynamo. I'm going to put this one up here. Let me reorient it, and you can see, okay. I see, it does take water and it takes lava. So, I do have some fluid ducts left, so I'm gonna take these and I'm just going to put that right up there. And that should start filling up the water, maybe? Or no, it doesn't need water, I'm sorry. I'm looking at this all wrong. Let me get that really quick. Where's it at, is it stuck? might be stuck up there. No, I got it. Okay, cool. Let me get something to eat really quick. So I'm sorry, I was looking at this all wrong. For this, you don't need water. This is where the lava goes into. And then this is your um, output. So I just need lava. Now, obviously, a lot easier to get water in an infinite pool than lava. So my solution to this, we saw some lava down when we were mining, we're gonna make a portable tank, take it down there. I believe this can hold up to 20 buckets of lava, which is plenty. We're gonna get some lava and we'll bring it back up and hook it up to that. So this is a pretty easy um, recipe. Get that like that. Perfect. Okay, now we are gonna go down get this out of my way here we're gonna go all the way down we haven't been down here since uh what two episodes ago now we did find lava somewhere i remember we did is it, no this way is this way we found lava ah that's what we need right there <clears throat> so i'm going to place that down and then just start grabbing lava. And you just right click and then right click. That's all you gotta do. And just be careful um, when you're doing this because I've had it before where I'll miss the this portable tank and I'll place it to the side and then that just causes all chaos to arise. So let's get all of our lava here. There 
there's actually a good amount in this pool. And then, and that's it. And then we take our wrench, shift, right click, and we'll get our tank. Perfect. Now we shall head back up. So this will be a, a lot more efficient way of creating uh, power rather than using so much coal because uh, the steam one really does use a lot of coal. Um, I'll keep it hooked up for now though as like a kind of a secondary um, source of uh, power uh, just in case. But realistically this um, dynamo, magmatic dynamo will be our main source. So let's get up here. I'm going to put this, hmm. I didn't think this through. Maybe I'll actually, I might move this. I'm gonna move that because I'm gonna put this here. Um, let's see if this works. This here, shift it around like so. And then if I click on the bottom there, no, okay. Click, let's close that. So that did not work the way I wanted it to. Mm -hmm. I might actually, I'm just gonna move some things around a little bit. Because I'm OCD. So we're gonna move this, remove this, remove that, remove that, and we'll leave that there for now. So let's take some of this stuff out of my inventory that I don't need. Let's get the steam one and a fluid duct. Hmm. So how do I want to have this? Realistically, I wanted to have this easily accessible if I needed to get the cell out, but I have a feeling that I probably won't ever be in a situation where I really need to. So I'm just gonna put that like there. I'm gonna take the steam diny boy and put him here. Take one fluid duct there. Let me put that away. Um, I need that and I need this. And then I'm gonna take this and put it on top it around like so and then I'm gonna put our lava at the top and then if you take your wrench and you right click at the bottom you see that little thing that little line there turned orange that means it's outputting lava and it's outputting into our dynamo which is now creating power and this has a 40 RF per tick output in power perfect so now we're really generating a good amount and as you can see before, we had like half a million in here, but from running all these machines to um, create all these different ores, or to, to pulverize and then smelt all these ores has really taken a toll on, um, on our power storage. So let's get these back in here. I'm going to put away my wrench and that like so. I think I might bump out this a little more because we're we're definitely gonna have more um, more machines put in here. So I want to have the space for it. Obviously, I could use Mr. Me Creeps, but I am not going to. I'm going to do this myself for now. Get some torches up here, and uh, I'm going to. It like this. This is how I'm going to have it. I had to put that away, but I actually want it. So I'm going to have it run under there, like so. Cool. We have a pretty good setup going. This is slowly but surely regaining. Let's um, get some of these other ores in here um, going so we can get them all uh, refined. So, gold, I think, is the next. We do have that aluminum, but I don't think you can do anything with that. And then that as well. Okay. 
Okay. I think this is our. Oh. That is our last of our ores that we have to refine. Cool. So this is our haul so far. Good amount of stuff. And we have our machines going. And we have a decent amount of um, power coming in. And this does not have any coal in it. Hmm. I might take these tiny coals and just use the tiny coals. Uh, I believe you can use them. Oh, you can't use them. Okay, so the tiny coal is going to stay in my furnace up here for now. And I will take actually some of these coals and this will be our secondary power back up here. Cool. And that is outputting. And that outputs to our box here. Perfect. Now, I kind of want to clean up a little bit in here. It's a little bit messy, especially up here. So, I think I'm just going to do a little bit of cleaning. Um, as I said, this is just a starter area. A little starter hidey hole. So I don't plan to stay in here forever. Um, I just wanted a good place to kind of get things rolling with this series. So let's take this out as well. Oh, I should really do that. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm, my pickaxe is about to break, unfortunately. Get that perfect. Oh, hang on. Hold your horses. There we go. Cool. So we'll just do a little bit of tidying up here, and there goes my pick. So let's make a new one really quick. And then, surprisingly, we're already at the 52 minute marker in recording. So I'm going to call it, call it soon here once we get some stuff tidied up a little more. So making this a little bit wider will be nice to have. I'll leave, leave that as is. I might put some steps in here. Let me get some, uh, I got plenty of uh, cobblestone. Steps or some slabs like that so we can get in and out easy. We're gonna move this because we don't need it there anymore. We're gonna mine all this granite just to get it out of our way, make things a little more open. Yeah, so I don't know exactly what my next steps will be. Um, I mentioned earlier, once we get a little more settled in thermal expansion, I kind of want to go on to Tinkerer's Construct. Um, but I think there might be some more stuff in thermal that I still want to do first before we make that jump. Um, obviously, you know, we can start things anytime we want to. It's not really contingent on one or the other, but uh, there are just a few things that I would still like to do, I think. so. I might um, hold off for a little bit. I am going to have to move my bed, unfortunately. I'm going to take this out. Let's just put some cobblestone in there for now. I'm gonna make some more slabs. Um, I think that should be fine. Like so. I definitely need another torch up here. Um, let's put some cobblestone up there. So I think I might like to upgrade a few things first in my um, thermal expansion and then move on to doing some Tinkers stuff. We have collected a good amount of resources to get started in Tinkers as well. Um, I'm probably gonna skip the base um, like materials, which are like wood and stone and all that stuff in Tinkers because we can easily get it just normally through Minecraft, like the base Minecraft recipes. So I don't feel the need 
to have to go that path. So I probably won't. I'll probably just jump right into something that's a little bit higher tiered. So let's get this taken out. That's our pathway down here. So realistically, we'll have it go like this. And I'll probably just go like that. And hmm, actually, I kind of like having that there. We'll put that back, and then I'll probably put I'll put something else there. But I'm gonna put in some slabs. Let's get some more slabs going here. Boom, 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 boom. Get some slabs. Cool. Put those down. Perfect. Um. Probably will end up moving some of this stuff as well. But I'm not too sure on it yet. I just wanted to make a little more room. That's really what I just wanted to do for now. And I think that should be fine. Let's get this out of the wall because I don't like looking at it. And then let me get my cobblestone. Cool. Get that put in and that put in. Perfect. I do need a place for my bed actually. Hmm. So I'll probably cut out a little area here that'll be for my bed for now. Get that put back down so we can have our spawn put back. Perfect. Get that up. Put that down there. Still plenty of space to get down here. Let's um out here that should be fun like so and then um, I might get or I think it's actually a wall yeah a cobblestone wall yeah I don't need that many but I think 12 would be fine just doing a few things to make it look a little nicer so I'll put that here so, and then I'll probably have it up here as well, and um, maybe I'll have it go up like that. I think that looks nice. I might actually have it tee off a little too, so it looks like it's actually connecting. Eh, it looks kind of weird take those down yeah I like that better I might just get rid of this actually yeah that looks a lot better do I have a torch I do I might have to throw one down here somewhere it's right there yeah this looks way better get this out of the way perfect collect all this fun stuff down here and then just do this down there perfect and cool I think we are pretty much set it looks like it's uh it's raining out there let's get rid of all of this I'll put those eh, I'll put those somewhere else actually get rid of that get rid of that don't need that and then let's put our miscellaneous items in here like so same with the buckets and the sticks figure out what to do with that later put our bed there cool new spawn point set all right everyone well i think that'll do it for this episode like i said next time around we might look into making some upgrades to our machines or just getting um our items sorted a little bit better uh, i might do a little more modifications to my little hidey hole here um who knows exactly uh, tinkers could come as well next episode. We'll just have to wait and see what we're feeling. Um, the next episode is not going to be recorded right after this one. So if you leave any comments, I'll probably get them for the next episode. Or if you left any comments on previous episode, episode two, um, 
I will look at those as well and they'll probably be reflected in my next episode. So thank you all for watching and hanging in there for this episode. Um, oh, a server backup started. That was interesting. Haven't seen that before. Um, anyway, like I was saying, thanks everyone to wa for watching. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. Helps out a lot. If you want to follow along as I journey through uh, my Minecraft adventures on this mod pack, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell notification, I'll let you know every time I post a new video. Um, yeah, other than that, I guess I'll see you all next time. Thanks.